Oh my God, I got about a quarter mile from my home and realized I forgot my boots. I've got my Nike flip-flops on that I was wearing while I loaded the truck. I also forgot my money, so I wouldn't have been able to buy any boots anyhow. Okay, here's my camp. Got a nice little fire going. A lot of work without a chainsaw. Good exercise though. My little camp chair with some ashes on it. My LL Bean FR200 goes with me on all of my adventures. I have my uh, six gallon water jug set up. Here's my cooking table. Here's the tent. I haven't put my sleeping bag out yet, but I'll get around to that. And really important addition to the camp to make it camp is my heart medicine. Good morning. It's 5.38 a.m. Coffee's starting to boil finally. Uh, 41 out. It's 40 when I woke up. So I'm going to fix myself a cup of coffee, grab my rifle and pack, and then I'm going to head off into the Soda Mountain Wilderness looking for a black bear. Absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you how I picked this spot. I was on the net doing some research about where to go spring bear hunting. I'd been in the Soda Mountain Wilderness, but on the opposite boundary a few miles that way. I came across an article by a uh, hiker on his blog about he and his wife hiking in here last December. And the first thing he discovered as they came in on this very trail were fresh bear tracks in the snow. So I thought, well, you're not going to get a better lead than that. I'm looking for a pond. It's actually a hella pond. I want to see if I can maybe do... Oh, there goes a deer. I just jumped a blacktail. See it running? Just jumped a blacktail. Hard to see in the GoPro, it's running straight down this trail. That was cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanna see if I can maybe do some fly fishing there tomorrow. Oops, if I don't break my neck first. Here's where I started, that's where my camp is basically. And I'm looking for the Rosebud Helipond it's gotta be in kind of a flat area. I'm 
I'm sure it's a uh, pond that they used to land helicopters on and probably take on water for forest firefighting. Uh, I think I see water. The ground is definitely getting kind of spongy. Yep, there it is. Way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now, I don't think there's any fish in the helipond. I've been watching it for about 10 minutes. Haven't seen any in the water, haven't seen any rise. And there's plenty of uh, insects on the surface and there's no fish taking them down. But what an awesome place this would be to sit and watch for a game to come in water. It certainly has been utilized by the deer. There's deer tracks all around it, everywhere. So this would be one to keep in mind, just to sit and watch in the evening, maybe for bear and during deer season. In fact, I might come bow hunting here in the fall. This might be an awesome place. I doubt there are too many people that actually are willing to walk in here and uh, hunt, especially bow hunt. But I may just be one of them next fall. Well, into the trail right here. So from now on, it's a true wilderness backcountry hunt. Wow, you want to talk about some awesome bear country. I'm in it right here. Good morning. It's the second morning of the hunt and I'm up nice and early. I've got just a tiny little fire. I'm gonna let that die down. I'm gonna head out to a new area today, southeast of the camp. It looks really, really promising. Yeah, this is awesome country. Even better than what I was in yesterday. I'm really hoping to just stumble across a feeding spring bear out for a bite to eat this morning on all this lush green grass. Jackrabbit right in front of me. Oh my god. Now there's something I haven't seen for a, a long time. A jackrabbit. Wow, that was weird. I just stopped right here. I'm just looking at that little meadow. I saw some movement. And it was a jackrabbit. And he comes out. Came right to this bush, right in front of me, about 
seven or eight feet. And then he decided, oops, <laughs> that was cool. So I just had a jackrabbit nearly run me over. Now I found what appears to be the world's largest pine cone. Look at that damn thing. I just found part of a deer kill. And it's not that old. Young one too. Small deer. So I'm thinking probably either cougar or maybe even wolves. Since we do have wolves in this country now, unfortunately. I'll look around, see if I can find any more parts of it. Oh my God, I finally found a bear track. And I'm only about 200 yards from my camp. It's a cub though, it looks like a cub. See right there? I guess a partial right there. And nothing else. Yeah, my camp is just right around the bend. Uh, maybe, maybe 300 yards from here. This is the first sign of bear I found on this entire trip. And it looks like it was made sometime during the night. It rained last night. It's threatening to rain a little bit now. I'm just puzzled as to where the uh, mama bear tracks are. Holy shit. Okay, I found the baby bear track right there. And here's the adult's track right here. Holy crap. Look at the size of that. This was not here yesterday. I was up this road about three o'clock yesterday and these bear tracks were not here. Here's one here. Another one here. So a mama bear and at least one cub. Of course you can't shoot a mother with cubs and I wouldn't do that even if it wasn't illegal, but man, oh man, right by my camp. She's headed that way, and baby bear's down here. They're dropping down into the bottom here, right where I was headed. Well, I've tried to track those bears for about a mile, but I didn't pick up any more of their sign. This is not tracking ground here. And it's really thick in here. I'm not that crazy about being in the brush with a mother bear and her cub or cubs, which is one of the most dangerous situations you can find yourself in. If I sound a little spooked, it's because I probably am. I was listening to my radio yesterday, listening to the news. There were two mountain bicycles up in the Seattle area. I think it was around maybe North Bend, attacked by a cougar. One killed, one critically injured. Killed. So these things do happen in the wild. And you just have to be aware of that and take the proper precautions. I had an encounter with a bear last fall when I was bow hunting over in Central Oregon. You hear him? He's right in there. Get! Get! And that was the first time I've ever drawn my Glock because of an animal while I was out in the field hunting. Saturday and Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms. Highs around 80. Lows in the mid-50s. Just excited to know that I chose right. I am in bear country. I thought this would be bear country. And it is bear country, so that makes me feel really, really good. I do not want to forget my trophy. That's what I got this weekend. 
Well, I'm packed up. And I know it's still sunshine and blue skies out here, but I'm telling you, it's coming. And if I stayed here tonight, I think there would be hell to pay. I really do. I know this country pretty well, so I'll come back another time when the weather forecast is a little more hospitable. This camping spot is exactly 62.1 miles from my house. That's pretty darn awesome when you think about it. That I live so close to a wilderness area. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry we didn't get more action shots, but hey, that attacking jackrabbit has to be worth something, right? I mean, when have you seen that before? Oh no, it's a hunter.